Hi guys, today we are going to discuss Cambridge IGCSE Biology Paper 1 Multiple Choice Core and the past paper code is 0610-11 It's from the May-June 2022 past paper The duration for this paper is 45 minutes with a total question 40 questions so we only have one minute for each question this is a multiple choice the total score is 40 now let's get started first i will scroll all over this paper so you can take a screenshot you save in your laptop and pause this video for practice then only you can see the answer after this if you need this, this past paper the soft copy you can contact us through email or you can write in the comment section uh, then after that email us we will send you freely after you subscribe to this channel all subscription and past paper is absolutely free this is question number one a b c d this is two this is three this is four Let's move on to five, and here we go, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is eleven, eleven, and this is twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and this is fifteen. Let's move to 16, then we continue to 17, and here we go, question 18, 19, and continue by question number 20, 21, 22, 23, Followed by question 24. It's 24, and we move on to question 25. And then here we go question 26, 27, 28, 29. Followed by question 30, 31, 32. Here we go 32 and 33. This is 34, followed by 35. We move on to 36, 37, and 38, and then 39, and here we go, 14, last question. Now let's start the discussion. You may pause this video if you have taken a screenshot and write on the answer, and let's check out together after this. Question 1. All living organisms release energy from nutrient molecules within their cells. What is the name of this characteristic? Is it growth, nutrition, respiration, or sensitivity? The keyword is release energy from nutrient molecule. So what process release energy? Uh, growth require energy or need energy. Nutrition means the process of intake of food. Respiration will release energy and from the nutrients so that is respiration while sensitivity is how they respond to stimulus so the correct answer for this will be respiration let's move on oh you have to write your in the answer sheet not in the question paper in the real exam well these are the characteristics of living organism Movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition. So, respiration is the process by which living cells release energy from organic molecules. So, this is just a flashback. This is gram. It's the characteristic of living organism. Nutrition is... Organism with food, excretion is removal of waste, 
Reproduction is creation of new organism. Growth is increase in size and mass. Sensitivity is the ability to detect and respond to changes. Movement is the change in position by action of muscles. Also, growth of, of movement uh, in plants. So this is all seven characteristics of living organism. So remember this, M-R-S-G-R-E-N, Mrs. Grant. Let's move on to second question. Question two, the horse and the donkey are able to interbreed. The offspring they produce is called a mule. Which statement is correct? A, the horse and the donkey are the same genus. Yes. And the mule is invertile. This is, you keep this answer. The horse and donkey are the same species. They are not because this is not the same word. The last word refer to the species and is not the same word. So they are not the same species. So this answer is definitely wrong. The horse and donkey are the same genus and the mule is fertile. No, the mule is infertile. It means the mule cannot breed. Between mules, they cannot breed and produce uh, offspring. Horse and donkey are the same species. It is not because they are of the different species. So the possible answer is A or number two. Let's move on to question number three. The diagram shows an organism. Which type of arthropod is this organism? Let's check about arthropods. So keep in mind we have myriapod, insect, crustacean, and arachnid to choose. As we know, arthropod is one section of invertebrate. There are one, two, three, four, five, six groups, and in Arthropod, again, it is divided. So arthropod has jointed legs, more than one body section, and exoskeleton. It means skeleton, external skeletons. Now arthropod is again divided into different subgroup. This is a classification of arthropods: arachnids, crustaceans, insects, and myriapod. Arachnid has eight legs. This is the most important thing. Crustacean has uh, many legs and two set of antin. The crustacean has two sets of antony and mostly sea creatures like crab and lobster. Next is insects. It has six legs. So things to remember, insects six legs. Arachnids eight legs. Procession, many legs, and knee reports has many legs, and also it has body segment. So let's get back to the question. Example of knee report is centipede and millipede. So it's clear in here it has many legs and body segments. So the answer for this will be knee report. If you have any question, please feel free to write in the comment section. We'll explain to you further with another video. If you open this video to Susanira YouTube channel. Question number four. The diagram shows a cross section through two guard cells of a leaf. Which label structures would also be found in an animal cells? So this is Z, Y, X, and W. So this is plant cells of a leaf. Between plant cells and animal cells, there are few differences. Animal cells don't have chloroplast and also cell wall. So this is animal cells and on the right is plant cells. Both animal and plant cells, they have cell membrane, cell membrane, and also they have nucleus and other organelles, but plant cells have large vacuole, this one, and chloroplasts, and also cell wall. Animal cells 
don't have that three things. So plant cells have cell wall, one large vacuole, and chloroplast. Let's get back to the question. Question four, which label structures would also be found in animal? So our option shouldn't be chloroplast. So W is chloroplast. So we cross all the choice of chloroplast. I mean the Y, the Y is chloroplast because animals don't have chloroplast. And Z in here between Z and W, Z is cell wall, so animals don't have cell wall. So our only option is A, W and X. Uh, it is nucleus and X is cell membrane. Now let's move on to question number five. The diagram shows a cross section through a leaf. Which label shows a tissue? Is it B or A or C or D? A tissue. Let's see the cell and organisms revision notes. Tissue is a group of similar cells found in all multicellular organisms, example muscle cells, nerve tissue, epithelial tissue. So this is the level of organization. You start from cells, similar cells will form tissue, different tissue will form organ, different organ will form organ system and organ system, different organ system form organisms. Example cells is this one. This is the tissue. Then different tissue will form organ in here is stomach. And different organ will form organ system, like this one is digestive system, and different organ system will form an individual. So tissue is group of similar cells. So A is the whole cells in a leaf. So a leaf is actually organ because it composed of different tissue. There is epidermis and palisade, mesophyll. So A is the cross-section of a leaf, which is an organ. So A is not the answer. A is not the answer. Now we have C, B, and D. D in here is the stomata, the opening in which gases exchange happen. So it doesn't this is not a tissue. Now we have B and C. So our answer will be C because C is mesophyll layers, consists of mesophyll cells of different similar types of cells that form tissue. While we are not sure about B because B is pointing towards here. So the clear answer in here will be C. Is mesophyll tissue. Next, we move on to question six. A student found four different worms in a sample of soil and drew a diagram of them. Question six. A student found four different worms in a sample of soil and drew a diagram of them. The diagram were drawn with different magnification. Which worm was the longest? Length of diagram and magnification. So the length of diagram is 60 and magnification is times 3. I mean the real one is 60 divided by 3 which is 20. So this one equals to 60 divided by 3 is equals to 20. Well, well after we divide the length of diagram with the magnification, you'll get 20, 70, 50, and 24. So the longest worm, the longest worm will be 70 here, 70. So the answer for number six is B. Next, we move on to question seven. Which statement describes the net movement of particles during diffusion? So diffusion is from high to low concentration. So this is all correct. 
So we have to choose between A and B, where this is low to high is wrong. So from high to low concentration to lower or down a concentration gradient. That will be diffusion. That's the definition of diffusion. Oh, this one is not correct. Question 8. The diagram shows a section through a mesophyll cells of a leaf. Which part is partially permeable? Partially permeable is the cell membrane. This is B, cell membrane, while A is cell wall. C will be protoplas and D is a vacuole. So our answer is B. Question 9. What are the smaller basic units of starch and glycogen molecules? So between starch and glycogen, starch will be glucose. Glycogen will be also glucose. So it's glucose and glucose. So the answer for this is D. Well, amino acid is the basic unit for protein. Fatty acid and glycerol is the building unit for fat. Glycogen is a stored form of glucose that is mainly stored in liver and muscles. So the answer is D for question 9. Now question 10. Some terms used to describe enzyme-controlled reactions are listed. Catalyst, product, protein, and substrate. Which term describe an enzyme? So enzyme is a biological catalyst and is mostly made of protein. Now, so enzyme is protein. So number three should be correct. Now what is, is it three and two or three and one? So enzyme is biological catalyst. So one is correct. One. Now, why T is wrong? Enzyme is biological catalyst. It is not included in the product. So, enzyme is not the product. So, the answer is A. Question 11. The diagram shows two food tests being carried out on solution X. So, the solution X with buret solution will change into purple color, well, with magnetic solution, will change into red color. Which nutrients are present in solution X? So the purple color is protein test and is positive. So in here will be positive for protein, in here will be positive for sugar. So protein in here, this is a test for protein with buret solution. This is the test for sugar with Benedict solution. So the answer for question 11 will be protein and sugar. If it's not starch, starch will be with iodine test. While for fat, the test will be with ethanol. Let's move on to it. Question 12, which chemical is a product of photosynthesis that moves out of a green leaf to its stomata? So, product of photosynthesis, let's see the reaction for photosynthesis. So the reaction for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide with water produce glucose and oxygen. So this is the product, glucose and oxygen. Oxygens leave the plant through the opening called stomata. So again, the product of photosynthesis is glucose and oxygen. Move out through stomata is the oxygen gas. So it will be 12C. Next question. 13. Which tissue are found in vascular bundles? Vascular bundles. Let's see the vascular bundles of plants. Vascular bundles is the xylem that move water and mineral ions from roots to leaf and phloem that move nutrients from leaves to the rest of the plant. So they are 
Xylems and phloem. So the answer will be phloem and xylems, not palisade or spongy mesophyll. Question 14, what is the dietary importance of fiber in humans? Question 14, so fiber uh, is to help food move through the elementary canal. To provide energy is carbohydrate, glucose. For growth and repair is protein. Strong bones and teeth is calcium. So this is the importance of fiber. Question 15. In which part of elementary canal does ingestion take place? So ingestion is the how food enters our body is to mouth. Question 15 C is easy. For NS is ingestion, not ingestion. Ingestion is the excretion of waste from our body. Liver is a, a gland that secretes enzyme. Stomach is part of the elementary canal. So the answer is C for 15 question 16 now. The diagram shows human elementary canal with a string mark in meters beside it. So this is esophagus, this is stomach, this is the small intestine. And it's all go to anus. Question, how long is small intestine? Small intestine start from here, go to here, so it's seven. And here, so start from here, one to seven, seven minus one is six. So it will be six meter. Number 16 is 6 meter. All right, next we move on to question 17. Uh, if there's any unclear, please write down in comment section. This part is large intestine. This is the stomach. Now let's move on to question 17. Question 17. A non-woody plant stem is placed in water containing a red dye. It is left for one day and then a section of the stem is examined using a microscope which tissue is stained red. Well, this is the position of xylem and phloem in the stem. The inner part is xylem where water is absorbed from the root and this is phloem where glucose is distributed to all other parts of the plant. So the tissue that stained red will be the xylem which is the inner part in here which is D. So the answer will be 17 is D. Let's move on to question 18. The diagram shows a cross section through a leaf. From which cell will most water evaporate during transpiration? So transpiration will be through mesophyll cells because mesophyll has air spaces that contain water vapor. This part of the vascular bundles, A is vascular cell, so the one correct answer will be for this question. Which cell will most water evaporate is D. Next question number 19. The diagram shows a cross section through the heart of a mammal. So which row correctly identify P, Q, and R, P is in here. So this one will be the left atrium, R will be the left ventricles, and Q will be the valve. Mammals, include human, have four chamber heart. This site is coincides with our right hand but in the diagram is always named as left atrium and left ventricle. This side is coincide with our left hand side and it is always labeled as right atrium and right ventricle in the heart diagram. So the top one is always A, atrium is top upper part, the bottom part is always ventricle. So we remember A and B. So left atrium, left ventricle and this is the valve in, the in between. So the answer for this question will be 
B. B is left atrium. R is left ventricle. And Q is the valve. Let's move on. Question 20. Which process is lower than normal in a person with very low platelets? Platelets. The function is for blood clotting. So question 20, the answer will be for blood clotting. Antibody is related to white blood cells. Oxygen transport is with red blood cells. Phagocytosis is also with white blood cells. Question 21. The body has several defense mechanisms to protect against disease. Which defense mechanism is a chemical barrier? So here in the nose is physical, skin is physical, white blood cells is the immune system. So the only possible answer is mucus. 21. Mucus. Chemical barrier. Mucus contain antibody and enzyme that are designed to destroy and kill harmful bacteria. So mucus is a chemical barrier. Question 22. A person lives in a climate where the air is very dry. So which rule correctly com compares inspired air, the air's enter body and the air exhaled from the body, expired air. So the air in enter the body will be low in water vapor because dry. So high carbon dioxide, low oxygen. So this one will be correct. Low water vapor and uh, exhale air will be high in carbon dioxide. So question 22 will be B. Question 23. Substances involved in aerobic respiration are listed. These substances are used during aerobic respiration. Let's see the equation for respiration. So this is the equation for aerobic respiration. It is glucose and oxygen produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. So this is the question. The substance that I use is just now is glucose and oxygen. So question 23, the answer will be 2 and 3. Water and carbon dioxide is the product with energy. Question 24, the diagram shows the oxygen uptake by germinating seeds at two different temperatures. White is 10 degrees Celsius, while black is 20 degrees Celsius. Oxygen uptake in here is in centimeter cube. Question, at which time is the oxygen uptake at 20 degrees Celsius four times greater than 10 degrees Celsius? So at 24 times greater than 10 degrees Celsius. So our eyes will quickly fling to here. This will be around 0 0 0.36 and this one will be around so here will be 0 0.9 0 .9. so 0 0.36 divided by 0 0.9 is about 4 times so we divide this and this will be 4 times 36 divided by 9 is 4 times so that will be in the 20 minutes option so the answer is B for question number 24. Let's move on to question 25. A person produced 1.75 decimeter cube of urine on a cool day. How will the volume and concentration of urine change on a hot day if the fluid intake is the same as on the cool day, so on a hot day, people tend to sweat more, so the volume of urine will be, of course, decreases. And we have two options, C and D. Let's see. Should we choose C or D? Concentration of uh, urine, concentration will be, uh, since the volume is decreased, of course, the concentration of urine will be increased. So the, the correct answer will be D. Let's move on to question 26. Which hormone triggers the fight or flight response? 
So the hormone will be adrenaline. Let's see the function of hormone, testosterone, estrogen, and insulin. So here are the function of some hormones. Adrenaline will be readies the body for a fight or flight response and uh, insulin is excreted by the pancreas. It helps to control the blood sugar level. Progest progesterone is for support pregnancy and estrogen is to the main female sex hormone. It controls the menstrual cycle. And this is the function of progesterone, maintains the lining of the uterus. So our answer will be adrenaline, hormone that related to the reproduction system. This is related to the metabolism of sugar. Question 27. Which organ detects and coordinates the response to changes in internal body temperature? So coordinates will be Brain, brain is the one that coordinates. Heart is to pump the blood. Liver is the gland that produces enzymes. Skin is the physical barrier. Question 28. Which statement describes the plant response known as phototropism? Phototropism is the response of plants that grow towards the light. Uh, from the Plan, so the question 28 will be plant shoots will grow towards light, but not the root, the root growing towards the gravity or the center of the earth. So the word all parts is wrong because not all parts, only the shoot that grow towards the light. So our answer for question 28 will be C. This picture shows phototropisms where the shoots of the plant bend towards the light. Next question 29. Why is excessive consumption of alcohol discouraged before someone operates machinery or drive a vehicle? Well, alcohol is known uh, to decrease the reaction time, so it will be dangerous. If someone consu uh, consume excessive alcohol before driving, so the answer will be A, 29A, decrease reaction time. Question 30. What is the example of sexual reproduction? Sexual is uh, the fusion of male and female. So one pollen grain nucleus fused with the ovule. So this will be the sexual reproduction. While one bacteria cell dividing is example of non-sexual reproduction. Same this happened in banana. One divided into two and also this. So the correct answer will be C. Question 31. The diagram shows a cross section of an insect pollinated flower which labels stigma. Stigma is label A. E is enter. C is the ovule. And D is sepal. This is the complete diagram of a flower. Enter. Filament, stigma, style, ovary, ovule, sepal, stem. Let's move on. Question 32. The effectiveness of different methods of birth control were studied in one country. The graph shows the result of this study. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different methods. Which type of birth control is most effective in this study? So most effective will be the highest, will be this one, highest, compared to all, 100% effectiveness. So it's a vasectomy. So vasectomy is not barrier, chemical, natural, but it's a surgical. So it will be D for question 32 is D. Let's move on to question 33. Big shape in birds is controlled by genes passed from parents' birds to their offspring, which, what is this an example of? So, question 33, pass from parents to offspring is inheritance. 33 is D. Mitosis is the process of cell division. Fertilization is 
the fusion between male and female nucleus. Right, let's move on to question 34. A student uses a diagram to explain the inheritance of sex in humans. Mother produce X, father produce sperms 1 and 2. The statements should she use to complete boxes 1 and 2. So from mother, uh, the inheritance of sex human mother, all female is containing, female contains only X chromosomes. So it should be X. Uh, not Y. But your father contain 50% of X and 50% of Y. So this should be correct for question 34. Now let's see why the others are wrong. Father in here who have all X, so it's wrong, have all Y wrong. So father has 50% X and Y. So mothers all have an X chromosome, father have half of an X and half of a Y. So that will determine the sex of the offspring. Let's move on to question 35. Which statement about selective breeding is correct? Well, selective breeding is, it does not involve human, no, it is in, uh, human involved in it. It involves a struggle for survival. This will be natural selection. That involve involve only one parent, but there will be a sexual reproduction. So all the other three are wrong. The answer must be D. It involves parent that possess desirable features. So individual parents with desirable feature will be breed in selective breeding. And human is involved. Next question, 36. Which process uses the principal source of energy input to biological system? Well, energy input to biological system in here will be photosynthesis. So light energy is input in the photosynthesis reaction. Let's move on to question 37. The diagram shows the water cycle. Four different processes are numbered. Uh, which row identifies the process correctly? So we, if we see this as a cycle, from four, we can see it's from the tree. It, uh, water is converted into water vapor and leave the plant. So this is the most common process that we call as transpiration. So transpiration is four. Since the other answer don't have option four as transpiration, so the answer must be C. But let's check why it is like that. So one is precipitation. So the cloud fall as rain, it's called precipitation. Two is evaporation, so water from the sea is evaporate and form clouds. While three is condensation, yes. So water evaporate from the surface of sea or ocean and then they condense into cloud. Or the cloud will fall as rain is called precipitation and is absorbed by the plant and through the leaf of the plant the water leaves the plant as water vapor, which in this is called transpiration process. So the answer for this is C for question 37. Next, let's see question 38. A herd of red deer live in a forest that contains snakes and a large variety of birds. Which group of organism is an example of a population? Population is, these are some keywords. Population is a group of organism of the same kind living in the same place. These are some keywords for uh, animal living in their environment. So that will be population, same kind. Animal of same kind. So in here, animal of same kind will be a herd of red deer. So 38 will be all the red deer in the forest. All the animals, no. All the animals, not all animals are the same kind. All organisms, no. All the plants, no. Because there are different types of plants. 
Question 39, which process makes use of genetically engineered organism. Genetically engineered organism means there is genetic modification in the organism. So genetic modification will be using bacteria to produce insulin. That will be genetic engineering. Using enzyme in body walls, that uh, is not. This is not, and uh, yeast is not. This is. So the question will have A as the answer. 39. The use of bacteria to produce insulin is common. Uh, so some gene from human that is responsible for produce to produce insulin is cut, and some section in bacteria plasmid is cut, and then it is combined together, and then that's how the bacteria are able to produce insulin hormone for a diabetic patient. So this is. Genetic engineering. Now question 40, the food web shows the feeding relationship in a woodland. If all the preferences in the wood in the food web die, which effect would this have? If this die, then there will be no predator of caterpillars. So the population of caterpillar will be actually increased. So this decrease is wrong. And more caterpillar will eat more tree. So the amount of damage tree will increase. Yes, correct. Because more caterpillar will eat more trees. Question B. Option B. The food supply for gray squirrel will increase. It's not because they will compete source of food with caterpillar with the increased number of caterpillar. So this is not correct. The number of wood pigeon will increase is not because wood pigeon also eat the same sources with caterpillar which already increase in number so this will be wrong so the answer will be a so this is the end of this paper question 40 we'll scroll over from question one so we may take a screenshot of the marks uh, the answer we go question one two question three question this is question four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 26 37, 38, 39, and 40. So today we have discussed biology plus paper IGCSE for grade 10. And it is from May, June 2021 with a paper called 0610-11 is the core core syllabus and it's all multiple choice question. Check link in the description for other useful videos as we keep updating our resources every week and like and share to anybody who might need this because this is absolutely free. Subscription is also free. Ring the bell so you will be the first to be notified when we release our latest and news update for past paper. Bye, right, see you in the next video. So today's discussion is conducted by Study with Tuition Online. We gather for all this program and all this syllabus. Please email us if you're interested to join with us with affordable price. Uh, we provide tuition one to one tuition and bye bye and see you in the next video. We have today's discussion will be helpful to you and God bless you.